Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Badreddin and in this video we will learn how to set up a different OctoSpy flash memory in a touch GFX template. In the second part we'll see how to initialize the OctoSpy flash memory and set up the OctoSpy peripheral in memory mapped mode. Here I have my STM32CubeID project open. I'll close the information center and expand the project. Then application then user and then double click on main.c and I see here my octospy init function I go to the definition of the octospy init function I see here all the octospy parameters I set up in Cubamax and here we see that the uh, the that GFX template uses, uses the BSP driver for the octospy from Macronix and here I will remove this code and replace it by the OctoSpy initialization code. The first step is to, to reset the OctoSpy flash memory to start from a default state of the memory. The second step is to set up the dummy cycles and the dummy cycles are used to give the external memory the time to prepare its response with high-speed octal accesses. Third step is to set up the octal DDR mode. And by default, the OctoSpy memory is in one-line SPI mode. And to benefit from the octal DDR mode, we need to enable it. Then, fourth step is to enable the octospy memory mapped mode. This mode mounts the external octospy flash memory as an internal memory space mapped at address 0x9000000. In memory mapped mode, the maximum external flash size is 256 megabytes. If your external flash memory is larger than 256 megabytes, you need to use the indirect mode to read the data located after the first 256 megabytes. Now I will implement the definition of these uh, OctoSpy initialization APIs. I'll go to user code uh, begin section. So go here to implement my initialization functions. I'll place or I'll start by the reset memory. If I look at the uh, OctoSpy uh, data sheet, I see that I need to reset uh, or to issue the reset enable instruction 66 and then the instruction reset memory 99. And we see here that the reset enable instruction 66 should be sent. The instruction is sent without the address or data faces. To reset the OctoSpy memory registers, the reset instruction 99 should be issued. Like the instruction 66, this instruction is sent without the address and the data faces. go back to cubeide and here I'll place the definition of the octospy reset memory. I see here I have the instruction 66 without address phase nor a data phase here. And then I issue the instruction 99 without address phase and without a data phase. Then I wait for a delay of minimum 30 microseconds and then I pull for the WIP bit to be uh, to be zero. Second step is to set up the dummy cycles. If I go to memory de device data sheet page twenty nine. 
To set up the dummy cycles, the volatile configuration register offset one of the memory should be set up according to table 6.7, page 31. And we see here that with octospy of 50 megahertz, we need five dummy cycles. To write 5 to the volatile configuration register offset 1, the instruction 81 should be used. So we go here to the command set and we see that the, to write the volatile configuration register, we need to issue the command of the instruction 81. In this case, we should issue instruction 81 the address 1, because of the offset is 1, and then the data, and, the, and the, oh, okay, the, dem, it's, uh, the dummy cycles, which is 5. And going back to STM32QVDE, and here I place the dummy cycles configuration. I have here the instruction 6 to enable the access to the registers and the instruction 81 to write the volatile configuration register, register. The offset is 1 and then the dummy cycles is 5. And we sent the data using OctoSpy Transmit API. Third step is to set up the Octo GDR mode. To enable the octal DDR mode, the volatile configuration register offset zero. If I go back to page 929, I see here that the oct by default is extended SPI mode. I will need to send or to set the volatile config configuration register offset zero to E7 to enable the octal DDR mode. So here, if I go back to the command set, we need to issue the command 81 with the address uh, 0, because of the offset in our case is 0, and the data is E7. I go back to stm 32 qid and then here I have my setup octal DDR mode API. So here we enable the access to the register, we issue the instruction 81 to write to the volatile configuration register with the offset 0 and with the data E7. Then the first step is to enable the memory map mode. I go back to the uh, memory data sheet and page 43, I see the octal DDR fast read instruction is FD. So I have to set the instruction to FD and the dummy cycles to five. I go back to stm 32 qbde I paste the definition of the OctoSpy Enable Memory Map Mode API. Here I have my instruction FDFD. FD. Then I have the dummy cycles set to 5. And then we enable the memory mapped mode by setting the F mode bit field to 3. Next, I will define the prototypes of the OctoSpy initialization API. Scroll up here and place it in the user code begin PFP, private function prototypes. Then uh, I missed one thing in the Cubamax, the MPU region size. If I go to the MPU configuration, I see that my OctoSpy uh, size is 64 megabytes, so I have to 
go back to Cubamax and change it to 32 megabytes to, to, to match the size of my OctoSpy memory. I go back to Cubamax, System Core, Cortex M7, and then here in the address 90000, I need to change the MPU region size from 64 to 32 megabytes. I generate the code again. I go back to STM32CubeIDE. I see that Cubemax changed it to 32 megabytes. Now I'm ready to build my project. Click on build icon. Okay, now before I proceed to download the project, I need to change the external flash loader. So I go to run and then debug configuration. And then click on STM32H7B debug and go to debugger tab. And here we see that the uh, external flash loader is for the Micronex memory. So I need to change it to uh, AS25. 256 memory. Yeah, so this one, IS25LX256. And we'll see in the third part of this video how I generated this file. But, but for this video, I will just use it. And then click apply and then click debug here. Now the debugger started. I'll click switch. So I see here the external flash loader is getting executed, download complete, verification done successfully. Okay, now I'll start the execution, click on resume button or F8 from the keyboard. And here I have my anim animated image example working fine. Thank you for joining me in this video and we hope that you enjoyed learning how to initialize the OctoSpy flash memory. In the third part of this video, we'll see how to build the external flash loader for our ISSI OctoSpy flash memory.